Long ago, in the best reaches of the DC Universe, the Guardians of the Universe sought to create an interstellar police force to enforce justice across the cosmos. Thus, the Manhunters were born, mechanical beings programmed with a strict sense of justice. Yet, over time, their inflexibility led them to rebel against their creators, causing the Guardians to abandon them and form the Green Lantern Corps instead. The Manhunters, however, did not fade into obscurity. They resurfaced as formidable adversaries of the Justice League, their presence a hunting reminder of the Guardians' failed experiment. In the late 1980s, the Millennium Event revealed their deep infiltration into human society, casting them as a hidden threat with sleeper agents poised to strike. Characters like Mark Shaw and Kate Spencer donned the Manhunter mantle, fighting crime and exploring the legacy of these relentless enforcers. As cosmic conflicts like the War of Light and the Sinestro Corps War unfolded, the Manhunter's shadow loomed large, complicating the battles of the Green Lantern Corps. Even in the era of DC Rebirth, their legacy endured, serving as a powerful reminder of the perils of unyielding justice and the ongoing struggle for true balance in the universe. Hey you everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to have a look at the Guardian of the Universe's first attempt to create an interstellar for this force to enforce justice across the cosmos, the Manhunters. Let us start with the packaging. The front of the box states, McFarlane Platinum Edition DC Multiverse Manhunters. It has a huge clear window that enables us to see the figure and all that comes with it. The right side of the box states McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Manhunters Green Lantern Core Adversary. The left side of the box continues the clear window from the front and states McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Manhunters. Finally, the back of the box shows an amazing art of the character from the comics. That is it for the packaging, so let us crack this open and see if McParlane did justice to the Manhunters in action figure form. The figure scales at 7.5 inches or 19 centimeters. Now let's go with the accessories. So he comes with the standard McFarlane art card with a short data file at the back. Standard McFarlane base or stand with the DC logo. And then a booster effect. This is actually what got me when I saw this. Uh, that's when I realized that this is a reuse of the Batwing mold because I was actually under the impression that this is a completely new mold, but this kind of gave it away. And then we have this alternate battle damage piece plate, which is actually a pretty good addition. Okay, before anything else, I just want to put this out there. This is a McFarlane Platinum Edition. Now, I don't really know what McFarlane is now doing with their Chase variant, but for this, for this specific character, I think it is not a good idea to make this figure 
a platinum edition or a chase variant because this figure is actually pretty good for army building. I mean, they're the Manhunters. So that's, that's usually big money for army building. So why make it a chase variant? And I'm not really sure what McFarlane is doing now because I was actually able to pre-order it separately. So I'm kind of confused. If it is a chase variant, but now I can order pre-order them separately, is that actually a good thing now? Because now I can actually order the platinum variant if I want it. Sorry guys, I'm I'm just really confused with McParlane's marketing style right now. In my area, I'm able to good, uh, get this easily because, as I said, there was a pre-order for it. I'm not sure with other areas because I I think I heard somewhere that for every case of a specific character like a box of cyborg, you'll get one platinum variant, which is a completely different character. In this case, it's the Manhunter. So, I don't know. I, I didn't even notice it when I pre-ordered this. It, it is more limited in stock. I mean, for me, who is a huge Green Lantern fan, I really want to collect and army build the Manhunters. But that's kind of not an option right now if it is a Platinum Chase variant. So, yeah, I, I, I wish McFarlane will fix whatever their system, whatever system they're using now in choosing the chase variant because I think they just, they're just going way overboard now when, when it comes to Platinum Edition. I think they're limiting their opportunities to sell more figures just because of these decisions. Okay, so looking closer at the figure, we all know that compared to the art card, this is a completely different figure. They, yeah, they, they, they basically what they do is they reuse the Batwing mold and try to, yeah, make it look like the Manhunter, which in a way I think they actually did a pretty good job. But if you're a solid classic collector, you really, meaning you really want the classic look, you will not be satisfied with this one because this looks completely different. It looks like a modernized version of the Manhunter. Anyway, looking at the head sculpt, it totally looks pretty good. Well, I expected it to look good because... This is McFarlane's forte. Either robot or monsters, they are pretty good when molding this kind of look. And add to that the battle damage look. Yeah. This is actually one thing that makes you want to buy two of them. So that you'll have one like this and you'll have one like this. But since this is a chase variant, I'm not sure if this is possible in all areas. I do like the, the, I'm not sure, is this a blue or purplish color that they use? And the separation of the red? I do like that color. But I do wish that in a way, they still added that green detail. I think they have this green detail on their leg and also their gauntlet. Because... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I know that this Manhunter is supposed to be powered by the same green energy that the Green Lanterns use. So I was kind of, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that they at least added that detail to this mold because I think that's one distinctive characteristic that defines the Manhunters. Anyway, overall, I, st I still think that it, it looks cool. It is definitely a good reuse. If you're not into that, you know, if you're not a solid classic classic collector, because, yeah, this, this definitely is way too modern looking. 
for uh, for the Moon Hunter. But I guess it works. For the articulation, since because of the shape of the head, I believe that the range is going to be a little limited. Yeah, it's a little limited because of the shape of the head. It's kind of hindrance a lot. So range of the head articulation is kind of limited. For the hands, you can do the T-pose. Same Perlin style here, which I don't like. Look right like right now it is stuck, so yeah. I don't understand why they use this design wherein the the shoulder pad is attached here for me. It doesn't work for me. Well, now that I'm playing with articulation, I guess it does. I, can, I guess it makes sense. <laughs> well, things you discover every day. Okay, so there's that bicep cut, double jointed elbow, double fag wrist. So, abdominal cut waist rotation so you can lean back that far you can lean forward that actually it's okay you can actually lean forward a little that far okay so this this small deck totally have a pretty good ab, ab, abdominal articulation for the legs there's that And then double jointed knee. For the ankle, there's that rocker, and then toe articulation. You can kick forward that far, and you can kick far backward that far. And you can do the bend down. That's it for the articulation. Now for some size comparison. Here he is with Kyle Rayner Green Lantern. Here he is with classic Al Jordan Green Lantern. Here he is with Hush Batman. Here he is with Supergirl. Here he is with Classic Superman. And here he is with the newly released Dark Side. One of the reasons why I started collecting DC Multiverse when McParlin started having its IP is that they actually invested in creating the mold for the character, especially for those who look really different. But lately, I've noticed that they just went on the, you know, reuse of molds, reusing their old molds, that it comes to a point that the things that I love about McCrimberlin is no longer there. Because this is not what the Manhunters looks like to me. This is what I was expecting. But, yeah, so, I know that in a business sense, they need to reuse molds, but if this is what where they are going to go, then they should, they should just go the same way that Hasbro does, create a completely blank base for, you know, for a big body mold, slim body mold, for a teenager's mold, for a giant mold, that they can keep reusing. 
unlike this one wherein sometimes it looks forced we we all know that this is the batwing mode so uh, i don't know I, I wish mcperlin goes back to their roots to what we actually love on them or at least change their change 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 their style now and this chase variant bs that they've been doing uh, uh they're gonna self destruct with that with this marketing style i mean yeah anyway guys if you if you're a big fan of the classic look like me uh you may not be satisfied with this manhunter but it is still a pretty good looking figure just just accept the fact that it that it's not even close to the classic look of the manhunters another thing is that when they when McParlane does a remold they're too lazy i mean they don't even plan to change the the accessories this is a the batwing accessories i mean well in a way this is how i knew because i thought this is a completely new mold but now this is actually how i knew that it is a batwing mold because of this i mean man right now i think they're even worse than hasbro when it comes to reusing molds they're too lazy it's 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 just i don't, I, I don't know um i think i think mcparlane has started to lose their way so um i'm a huge fan of the dc multiverse line so i hope they're you know they go back to the drawing sheet and change their business plan instead of this giving us this complete reuse of mold that is force that doesn't even look like the character anyway guys if you've reached this part of my video thanks a lot if you like my videos please don't forget to share like and subscribe and again guys enjoy life and keep collecting